Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series for the given function f of x. As a first part, we are going to write the formula for the Fourier series, which is f of x equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a m cos n pi x by l plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l. Here the value of 2l is 6. It means l is equal to 3. Now replacing 3 in the above formula we get f of x as a0 by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a m cos n pi x by 3 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by 3. Now to find a naught we use the formula 1 by l integral 0 to 2 l f of x dx and l is 3 so 1 by 3 integral 0 to 6 f of x dx but our function f of x is made up of two part one is from 0 to 3 other is from 3 to 6 one is x other is 6 minus x so using that we are going to split this integration into two part one is 1 by 3 integral 0 to 3 x into dx other is 1 by 3 integral 3 to 6, 6 minus x into dx. This becomes 1 by 3, it is x square by 2 and we have 0 to 3 as a limit and this is 1 by 3 and this is 6x minus x square by 2 and 3 to 6. Now substituting the limit we get 1 by 3, 3 square by 2 minus 0 and in the second part 6, 6, 36 minus 36 by 2 minus when I put the lower limit 6 into 3 18 minus 3 square which is 9 by 2. Now this is 1 by 3 into 9 by 2 plus 1 by 3 after cancelling this this is 18 so we have 36 minus 18 is 18. When I open this bracket, we get minus 18 plus 9 by 2. We can cancel this. Now finally, this is 1 by 3 into 9 by 2 plus 1 by 3 into 9 by 2. So, we can cancel this. 3 by 2. Even here 3 by 2. Make common denominator 2. So, we can add the numerator 3 plus 3 which is 6 by 2. Finally, the value of a naught is 3. So, we keep this separately. Next, we are going to proceed with finding a n. a n, the formula is 1 by l integral 0 to 2 l f of x cos n pi x by l dx we are going to use l as 3 so 1 by 3 integral 0 to 6 f of x is f of x we keep as it is now and this is cos n pi x by 3 dx we are going to split this into two part one is 1 by 3 integral 0 to 3 f of x is x in this case we have cos n pi x by 3 dx plus 1 by 3 integral 3 to 6 6 minus x into cos n pi x by 3 dx. Now we are going to use Bernoulli's formula. This is u and v. Similarly here it is u and v. Integral u v dx is u v1 minus u dash v2 
plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 plus dot dot dot. So this becomes 1 by 3. First part is u which is x. v1 is integration of this which is sin n pi x pi 3 by n pi by 3 minus u dash which is 1. v2 is integration of this which is minus cos n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 whole square and we have limit from 0 to 3 in the same way we are going to proceed with the second part the second part we have 1 by 3 outside u is 6 minus x and integration of cos n pi by 3 is sin n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 then minus differentiation of 6 minus x is minus 1 and integration of sin n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 is minus cos n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 whole square and we have our limit from 3 to 6. Now when I put 3 for x sin n pi becomes 0 and this becomes cos n pi which is minus 1 whole power n. So we have 1 by 3. First term is 0. Second term minus and minus we can make it as plus. Then we have minus 1 whole power n by n pi by 3 whole square. And when I put the lower limit, this is x, so it is 0. And uh, this is already, we can make it as plus. And cos 0 will become 1. So 1 by n pi by 3 whole square. When coming to the second part, I have to put 6. When I put 6 here, this is 0. So 1 by 3, first part is 0. And we can cancel these two minus. So there is one more minus in the middle. So minus of, when I put 6 here, it will become cos 2n pi. Because 6 and 3 gets cancelled. So that becomes 1 by 1 by n pi by 3 whole square minus and I put the lower limit when I put 3 here this becomes 0 then there is a minus n in the middle and cos n pi will be minus 1 whole power n by n pi by 3 whole square after finishing the substitution of the limits we take the common 1 by 3 and all the denominators we have n square pi square by 9. So that 9 will be taken to the numerator and we have n square pi square. After the open bracket, there is first term minus 1 whole power n and second term will be minus 1 and third term is again minus 1 and if I take this minus inside it will become plus. So minus 1 whole power n. Denominator I have taken already as n square pi square and by 9 I am taken to the numerator. Now this is after cancelling 3 by n square pi square and 2 times of minus 1 whole power n then minus 2. We can take 2 common. After taking 2 common 3 2s are 6 by n square pi square and here it is minus 1 whole power n minus 1. So if n is odd, then minus of whole power odd will be minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 become minus 2. So a n becomes 6 into minus 2 which is minus 12 by n square pi square. If n is even, then minus 1 whole power e1 will be 1. Then when I put 1 here, 1 minus 1 is 0. So it means an becomes 0. So we are going to take when n is odd, 
and the value of a n as minus 12 by n square pi square. Now coming to b n, the formula is 1 by 3 integral 0 to 2 l f of x sin n pi x by l dx. So it is 1 by 3. Even I can put the value of L. So initially when we write, we take this as L itself because everything is in L. And now integral 0 to 6 f of x sin n pi x by 3 dx. So this becomes 1 by 3 integral 0 to 3 x into sin n pi x by 3 dx plus 1 by 3 integral 3 to 6 6 minus x into sin n pi x by 3 dx. So again we are going to use Bernoulli's formula. We take one as u, other is b and integral u b dx is u b 1 minus u dash v 2 plus u double dash v 3 minus dot dot dot. So the first term is 1 by 3 bracket open u which is x v 1 which is the integration of sin m by x by 3 is cos with the minus sign. So minus cos n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 then minus u dash which is 1 and integration of minus cos is minus sin n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 whole square and the next derivative is 0 so we can put the limit 0 to 3 here then plus coming to the next part Again, there is 1 by 3 outside, 6 minus x is written as it is, u and v is minus cos, sorry, v1 is minus cos n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3. Then derivative minus u dash which is minus 1 in this case because 6 minus x derivative is minus 1 and again integration of this will be minus sin n pi x by 3 by n pi by 3 whole square and we have 3 to 6 as a limit. When I substitute the upper limit here 3 and here the sign term becomes 0 and cos term becomes 3 into and there is a minus sign and minus 1 whole power n by n pi by 3 and this term is 0 we can cancel this and make it as plus so 0 when I put the lower limit both the terms are 0 because there is x and this is sign term now coming to the next part when I put 6 here this is 0 and when I put 6 here after cancelling with 3 we get sin 2 n by which is 0. So both are 0 and minus open bracket when I put 3 here this becomes 6 minus 3 which is 3 and there is a minus sign so minus 3 and when I put 3 here we get cos n pi which is minus 1 whole power n. Then by n pi by 3 and when I put 3 here sin 3 n by is 0. So rest of the terms are 0. Now totally we have two terms. We keep 1 by 3 common. Minus 3 into minus 1 whole power n by n pi by 3. And here we can make this as plus. So plus 3 into minus 1 whole power n by n pi by 3. And we have 1 by 3 common. Now both are same but opposite sign they can cancel and this is 0.
So finally we got B n as 0. So we got A naught, A n and B n. We are going to substitute that in the f of x, which is our Fourier expansion formula. f of x equal to a naught by 2. a naught we got 3, so first term is 3 by 2. Then we have summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, but this exists, a n exists only for odd, so minus 12 by n square pi square. So we take instead of 1, it is odd minus 12 by n square pi square cos n pi x by 3 and bn is 0. So we leave it as it is. Then f of x is equal to because the last term is since bn is 0 everything is 0 in the last. So this is 3 by 2. We can take minus 12 by pi square common. We have summation n is equal to odd till infinity cos n pi x by 3 by n square and this is the required Fourier series expansion for the given function f of x.